We're working on number formation today using the cast of characters from 10 Town. For each of the numbers from 0 to 10, there is a different character that your child can learn, and there's a rhyme that goes with that character to help them to remember how to form their numbers properly. You can see Fiona 5 here, and at the bottom is her rhyme. I will link to all of the 10 Town number formation sheets. They're free to download from the company's website. We also use 10 town characters to familiarize our students with the bonds to 10. So it doesn't hurt for your child to learn these. Uh, they have flashcards available on the website, although it's really hard to purchase anything on there. So um, you can have a look and see if you can find them, but otherwise the free worksheets will help you with the number formation. So our primary task today is just learning the rhymes and practicing number formation. However, there are a number of different ways that you can do this to reinforce the lessons from this video. So firstly, your child will draw the numbers on the characters like so. Um, but in order for them to get more practice and to save you from printing several sheets as well, they can go over each of the numbers in several different colors like this. Um, they quite like doing that because you end up with a colourful sheet at the end. So get out all of your colouring pencils. Um, you can use uh, felt tips to draw these numbers. However, if you're using several felt tips on top of each other, obviously the paper may thin and start to rip. So you probably want to just use colouring pencils for these. In our blog post on the important key stage one materials to have at home, we've got a link for, to some chubby pencils that would be good for this activity. Secondly, with these sheets, although it doesn't help with the number formation directly, we do recommend that your child colours in the characters. It's a good opportunity to practice pencil grip and to exercise the muscles in their hand. Make sure that your child is taking pride in their work and they're learning to be careful when they're doing work. So try to encourage them to colour in the lines and not to just scribble on the sheets. If you want to practice number formation in another way, you can draw the numbers in the air, just making sure that your child is drawing the numbers the right way round, or in sand, or using chalk on the pavement or something like that. So anywhere where your child can practice moving their hand in the right direction. It won't help with their pencil grip, but it just means that they know how to form these numbers correctly. And finally, once you've worked through these worksheets and practiced the number formation in different ways, then your child can start to draw numbers independently on just a sheet of paper. What you might want to do is use lined paper and get them to draw between two lines in particular, just so the numbers don't vary in size too greatly. Just get them to draw three or four, perhaps at the beginning of a learning session, and some, pick a couple of numbers at random, so you make sure that it stays fresh in their minds. So on um, the rest of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to follow the rhymes to write the numbers correctly. You don't have to refer to this video too often if you've got the hang of it, but it's just helpful to see where you're supposed to be starting these numbers and what we're teaching your child in class if you're one of our regular pupils. We'll start with zero pond. So you've got the rhyme at the bottom here, which can be found on each of the 10 town worksheets. So read out those rhymes with your child as they're doing it, and hopefully they can learn the rhyme and start to say it with you soon enough. So the important thing is that you need to go this way when starting to write a zero. Okay, so with your child, you will say, start at the top, nice and slow, all the way round. And there you go. No, you may have to read the rhyme a little slowly at first while they get that formation, especially if you've printed large letters, but that's okay. For King One, notice that we don't do any fancy numerals here, just a single line is fine for young children. So top to toe, and there you go. Again, make sure that you're following the arrows on here. So you're going from top to bottom rather than starting at the bottom of the number. For Tommy Two, you go hands round to knees, then straight across, please. Try to get your child to do this without their pen leaving the paper. If their pen does leave the paper, they're going to have to practice a couple more times just before you go on to the next numeral. 
Be careful with number two that your child is actually starting at the top because some of them will try and start at the bottom, which results in kind of an S shape um, rather than the two. Also make sure that they are going to a point at this bottom part and then go straight across so you get a nicely structured two. Again, so avoid it looking like an S. Thelma three, we go over one hand and over the next. Stop and think which choice is best. But for speed here, you may want to just concentrate on the first part of the rhyme that tells your child how to form the three. The reason that they're saying stop and think which choice is best, I think, is because um, Thelma Three is a little bit of a thief in her not Ten Town story. So she has to think about whether it's the right thing to do is to steal. So Freddie Four, we go down, across, lift the pen and then or in the water. Make sure your child's lifting the pen. Fiona five. This is a really handy one because so many children write their fives incorrectly. You can see at the top here, you've got two different arrows. This is really important to pay attention to as this is what helps children to start writing their fives correctly. So rather than forming a five like this, where you've started at that point, we're actually going to start with the stalk part drawing it like that and then adding this on and the rhyme lends itself to that so we start here you go down her back round you go lift up the pen now arms out straight don't be slow make sure your child is really familiar with this particular rhyme and that they are always starting their number five at this point for seal six we would say slide down his tail Curl under his nose, nearly there, so strike a pose. This is another number where your child should be doing the whole number without lifting their pencil off the paper. If they do lift it off, then they end up doing something a bit like this. So it's important to keep an eye on your child when they're drawing this number. It's particularly important to work on forming the number six nicely so that it doesn't start to get sloppy. What we find with some of the older students that don't have great number formation is that they will do calculations and then confuse a zero and a six because they can't read their own handwriting and they can often lose marks just for a careless mistake like that. So it's good to target this when your child is young so they don't have those problems later on. For Sir Seven, it's important to make sure that your child is reaching a sharp point in the corner here so it doesn't start to look sloppy. So we go across his back, then down to his feet. Take your time and keep it neat. Okay, eight is another one where children tend to cheat a little bit if they can. So they might draw an eight like that with two different circles. That's not what we want. We want them to be forming the letter without taking their pencil off the page. So for this, we will start at the top here. We'll say all the way round, don't you stop, not until you're back to the top. Let's go back round, and there you go. I'll do that one more time just so you can see how to do it, so you can copy it at home. So all the way round, don't you stop, not until you're back to the top. It's important for your child to be able to visualise Nina 9 so that they can start in the right place and go round her face. This is a number that a lot of children get wrong, especially because a P faces the other direction. So if your child is really familiar with the Ten Town characters and this worksheet in particular, then they should know to go round Nicola's face, which is always facing in that direction. Okay, so let's go round using the rhyme. We go round her head and back to the start, down her back, she's so smart. I'll just do that one more time. So starting around here, round her head, and back to the start, down her back, she's so smart. Note at the um, point that it matches up, I just went up a little bit here, that practice will make the numbers a bit neater when your child starts writing them independently. Your child should be quite able to write the number 10 for tier 10 because they've been practicing the one and the zero. However, it doesn't help to practice this independently just so they can start writing double digit numbers. So for tier 10, they don't actually tell you the formation in the rhyme, but it's just draw a one and then a zero. Tier 10 is everyone's hero. There you go. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Kin Learning YouTube channel to be notified when more videos like this come up and visit the Kin Learning website at kinlearning.com for worksheets and more tips.